These smartphones that we use today are very complex devices. Now iOS tends to lock down their software a bit more, so there is very little reason to have such a special boot mode called safe mode on iOS. I haven't used an iPhone in so long, so there still might be one. But today I'm going to show you how to boot the Galaxy Note 9 into safe mode. Now safe mode is a troubleshooting step that you will want to take in case you notice something is going wrong with your device. Whether it is overheating, whether it is having poor performance, maybe poor battery life, or even just some random force closes or graphical glitches. Um, one of the first troubleshooting steps that you should always go through is booting the Galaxy Note 9, in this case, into safe mode. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. To get the Samsung phone into safe mode, we're going to press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds. This is just going to take us into the power menu. Then we're going to tap and hold on the power off option for a couple of seconds. So you, as you saw, it just takes a couple of seconds. Now we see this safe mode option pop up. And if we tap on that button again, our phone will restart and the Galaxy Note 9 will boot up into safe mode. Once that happens, all downloaded applications that are not installed directly from the box, like are not installed from the um, from the manufacturer, will be disabled. And that's the whole point of this, as I said, being a troubleshooting step. There are millions of applications in the Play Store and even more that can be downloaded in, off of third-party um, websites, which is definitely highly, highly not recommended unless you trust the source that you're getting it from. Don't try to download and install a cracked copy of a premium game as even if you trust that source eventually you're gonna run across some type of malware and these these smartphones you just have too much personal data and personal information to do something silly like that in any case when we boot the Galaxy Note 9 up into safe mode you can see this designated with the safe mode watermark down here at the bottom right now just like I said that means it has disabled access to a lot of applications. Whether you have downloaded those applications from the Play Store, and even in Samsung Internet's terms, applications that have been downloaded from other app stores, even Samsung's app store. You can tell the difference here of which applications you have access to by the application icon being in full color or if it's grayed out. So we have full color version of Play Store, settings, camera, Gmail, Chrome, phone, messages, camera. However, our widget, our search widget, Samsung Internet, Ida64, and even Shop Samsung are all inaccessible and have been disabled because we are in safe mode. And again, that is the entire point of this troubleshooting step. We want to disable as many applications as possible so that we can find out if it's one of these applications that's causing the issue you're having. So again, if you're having overheating issues, if you're having poor battery life issues, any type of slow performance issues, force closing issues, any graphical, any type of issue that it just is not normal, it is always advised first to boot the phone up into safe mode and try to use it like normal as much as possible. Of course, you won't be able to use Samsung Internet or you won't be able to use Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. 
but use the phone in the ways that you can and see if those same issues are present. So if you are in safe mode and you have and you are continuing to see poor performance, overheating, poor battery life issues, then it is not one of these third-party applications that are being disabled that is causing it. And it is something within the core operating system itself, possibly even the hardware itself, that is causing that issue. Again, that's the troubleshooting step, so that is how you know if something is going on, or what is causing the specific issue. So again, if you are in safe mode and you are still experiencing those issues, then it's not a third party application and maybe you need to do a factory reset. Maybe you need to do a manual flash of the stock images for your Samsung phone. You might even need to contact your local retailer and use your warranty to switch your phone out because you are in safe mode and you are still experiencing those issues, that means that phone is not operating as it should. However, if you are in safe mode, and again, if you are having poor performance issues, overheating, yada, 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 and you're in safe mode and those issues are not present, like you're browsing Chrome, you're using Gmail, you're calling people, you're texting people, taking photos, and everything's fine and dandy, then it's one of these third-party applications that have been disabled that is causing the issue. Now, it's very difficult to find out which, which exact application or even a game is causing that issue, but at least by booting into safe mode, we know if it is a third-party application that is causing that issue or not. So again, if you're experiencing any type of issues with your phone, boot the Galaxy Note 9 into safe mode. Try to use it as much as possible, even throughout the day. If you're noticing battery is dying at noon... Boot your phone into safe mode. Try to use it as much as you normally would. Again, with these uh, applications disabled. And see if the battery continues to die at noon. If it does continue to die at noon, it's not a third-party application. And your battery might be malfunctioning. Then it is best to use your warranty. Possibly do a factory reset or, again, manually flash those images just so you can get a full, fresh install of the software to find out what is causing the issue. And that's, that's really all it is. It is just one of the many troubleshooting steps that we can do to find out what's going on with our device. Now, once you are in safe mode and you want to get out of it, there are a couple of ways. First way would just be bring up the power menu again, tapping on restart and rebooting the phone. Once you do that, you should be out of safe mode and you should have access to all of your applications again. You know, your applications will no longer be grayed out and you'll be able to use the phone just like you normally would. However, Samsung also puts a notification up here at the top to remind, I guess as a reminder that you are in safe mode, but also as a way to tap so that you can easily turn off safe mode. And all that is doing is doing exactly what I just said. It is going to restart the phone just like you normally would by go doing it through the power menu except this time you're bringing the prompt up through the the notification that is always sitting in not swipeable whenever you are in safe mode and there you have it see now we are no longer in safe mode we have full access to our widget we have full access to our apps. 
And now it should be a lot easier to help diagnose exactly what is causing the issues of your Galaxy Note 9 by booting up into safe mode. 